Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Wondercraft. Uh, how has your week been, and how is I hope your week is going to go well this week as well. Today's intro build, we're going to talk about probably the newest really big build we've done, and one of the biggest builds of all time uh, is Pip's Scythe. So Pip's Scythe is a giant scythe. This used to be a village here. Um, basically, the lore around this is that a uh, Pip fell from the sky. Pip is like a god. Uh, she carries a scythe. We have a statue of her in the main town. And uh, her scythe fell and landed here when she fell. And so worshippers of Pip lived here. And mysteriously, lava has enveloped the town and crystallized it in this sort of glass lava type thing. And so you can see remnants of the town under it. And it's a giant scythe. And it's something we spent a long time. We cleared out this entire area. This used to be an actual Minecraft village that existed, and we um, completely decimated it. I basically would... This was where I would grind dirt and grass, and then this was where I also fought withers. I would put the withers in a mine, in one of the villagers' houses and blow it up. So this is... Uh, Pip is basically, for those of you who don't know, is this kind of god character that comes up a lot, and basically the entire... Uh, premise or where she came from was me and my friends were playing on a mod pack that had Tinker's Construct and uh, Tinker's Construct for you guys don't know is a mod that allows you to make custom weapons and there's another mod that added demon ingots which would allow you to have a that you could make scythes in Tinker's Construct which I wanted to make and the demon ingot if you used it as the head of the scythe it would talk to you it would randomly say things in chat like I want to kill I want to murder so I thought wouldn't it be really fun to have the sentient scythe talk to me and that's how Pip was born we named it Pip and Pip kind of became this thing and now in our Minecraft world she's kind of a god and she also has a sister named Toru um, but we haven't built anything with Tor about Toru here right now so, with that, I'm going to go and start talking about some of the builds we did on stream, because I've done some stuff uh, on live stream on twitch.tv forward slash Unchained Awesome. And if you guys uh, have any questions about anything, as always, feel free to ask. And I'll see you guys in the next build that we worked on. I'll, I'll cut. I'll, well, I'll cut. I'll do a um, time lapse. And then I will show you what we built in the time lapse, or we'll talk about it after uh, you see the time lapse. We'll talk about everything we built there. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. So this is what we want to talk about. <clears throat> so something I really like doing a lot is map uh, map art and pixel art. 
we made one map art thing that was um um it was uh, a space a picture of space basically and you you've seen it in the void town and so here we're working on a new map art and this is going to be one of the largest map art projects i think i've ever done because it's going to be multiple map arts uh combined and so we're clearing out the old map art and putting in new because i want to recycle a lot of the old stuff so as you can see on the map on the right this is how far we've gotten i've done three sections or two sections fully and then a third and a fourth down and then uh we will continue doing it i think what i'm gonna do uh each episode i'm gonna do one or two not this episode we're gonna do one or two uh 16 by 16 squares in the map art clearing and filling them in uh as the intro now or at least something like that because i think we've kind of run out of uh, builds to talk about really like there probably are some but there's not many like we never really talked about the main town but i um or we haven't really talked about the underground area so maybe we'll we'll talk more about stuff like that but i i kind of feel like we're running out of ideas to talk about and builds to talk about so i'm going to start a new tradition of doing at least one or two 16 by 16 squares a day so i keep moving through this or 60 by 16 squares a week So we keep moving and um, and we get this stuff done. So if you guys ever have a hint of what you think I might be building with this map art, feel free to send me your guesses, though I don't think you're going to be able to tell what I'm building here. And it's ignore all the stuff over here because that's not that's not part of it. It's only the black up top and then the blue and black there. But that's what we've been working on here. And we've done a little bit i kind of don't want to do it on stream because it's very very difficult to make it entertaining on stream can i sleep yet i feel like the sun's setting but i can't see it either the sun's setting or the sun's rising we'll fly out but we're gonna head over to <clears throat> we're gonna head over to another build we're doing and we'll talk a little bit about uh that we'll talk a little bit about some other stuff i have some things i want to change in the movie theater because as you guys can see the potions are all different and so the potions we picked for the different types of sodas kind of don't look very good so i'm going to see if we can find a better version this is going to be the new one for the cherry cola which is a potion of healing because i we used a potion of strength i think and then we'll look and see if there's anyone better for the cola because less of a brown it's now more of a gray i can't remember what we used it might have been like a potion of poison or something I think it was a potion of instant damage. It's kind of like a gray now. And so we're going to swap those around. And then we'll talk about the mud castle. Because I'm we've made some pretty interesting developments that I'm very, very, very happy about. So we'll uh, show those time lapses and we'll get into it. Over here, we didn't do too much uh, anything exciting. We finished around this tower. It looks super weird because of how I made it, but I was saying this on stream that no one's going to have a tower like this because of how weird it is, you know? 
Just because something looks different and weird and isn't perfect just means that it's unique sometimes. Obviously, you don't want to make everything look a certain way, but like you want to make something look a certain way, you make it look a certain way. We've added the tower and this building. But the next time lapse that I'm going to show you is going to show you probably my... Oh, I thought it was trapped inside. Uh, it's going to show you a really, really cool part of the build. A, I didn't know what we were going to do with the side building. But we've worked around with it, and I think it looks actually really, really cool. I'm super excited to get working on that as well. So, boop, see ya. So this is the new addition to the build that was the side square that we had over here. I really, really, really like the design. We left open a window so I could do sort of a glass mosaic window in here. Um, and the idea for this is, I don't know if this is really like a common thing, but I'm, I'm thinking of it like being a little church, a little temple, a little something. So basically the idea is there's going to be an altar here and then there's going to be chairs here. Chairs here. Kind of like those um those long chairs in churches or whatever. Excuse me. And it's just going to be a mini church. Um I think of these as like the ones in like Dragon Quest where you like re uh respawn your guys. They're not always super big, and they're just in random places. And I, I thought that this place could kind of work like that. Uh, this is the only roof I've ever made that I like consistently like <laughs> going through it. We put all our shulkers here because this was uh, this is where we were building everything. So yeah, I really really like it. It looks kind of it's kind of hard to see it from this side angle because of the tree, but uh, I'm excited. We're gonna put glass like stained glass, different colors to try and like uh make sort of a mock stained glass window maybe we'll try and think of some kind of story to go along with it because that's what usually stained glass windows like tell some kind of story so maybe we'll like use some significant colors 
maybe green and yellow or something and brown for the sniffer and then we come over here we haven't really worked on this in a hot minute but we're gonna swap out these so as you can see these have changed quite a bit the cherry cola kind of now looks like cheese and honestly the cola could be a cherry cola but this is a much brighter color for cherry so the potion of strength and then we got the potion of weakness because cola is certainly my weakness and it looks a lot better um oh i should have brought more eh, you know what this can be a little homage to what we originally had someone brought in snuck in their own drinks from home I'm thinking later we work on this part at least and maybe start working on the outside. I really still don't know what I want to do for the outside. I want the classic like movie sign, like the big movie thing where it's like telling you what's in uh, in theaters. And uh, we'll have to think of some some cool movies. I'm thinking of actually putting real life movies that I enjoy as like the movies on the on the listings. So. But. This is basically what we did on stream uh, yesterday, actually. And I haven't really recorded too much, so we might do some more uh, random builds here and there and work on some stuff. This might be a shorter episode of Wondercraft, but before I go off into building something else, I do want to... I also... I don't know. I was going to say I also added another room over there, but we talked about that. Uh, not added, but finished or built the walls too. I I have been working on the sniffer ever so slowly. This thing is going to be the thing that takes forever. I thought that the sniffer wasn't going to take that much. I legit was like, "Oh, sniffer, we'll, like we'll knock that out in a week, who cares?" But like the getting this much brown wool is so rough. I might have to try and like do what we did with the ears and combine like brown concrete or something. But it's coming out. It's coming out nicely. It's just taking a long time. I think I'm going to have to make a couple more automatic farms just for brown wool. So with that, we'll hop into another build. Maybe we'll work on the void. Oh, actually, you know what? I know exactly what we're going to do this week. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. But we're going to work on the void area because I want to tear down the tower and I want to make an, a whole new room for the idea for the. Uh, for the void room so thank you guys for checking it checking out this video we're gonna get into some more shenanigans shenanigans throughout the video i hope you guys enjoy see you guys there Boop.
all right that will be it for wondercraft this week i hope you guys had a fun time and enjoyed it but before we end off i would like to show you what i did uh i didn't want to do a time lapse of this because i feel like in the void area working with the black concrete trying to make something hidden it's not gonna look like anything in the time lapse maybe i don't know but as you can see the tower is gone you can't even really see the obsidian there you can sort of it's just melded with the roof which is exactly what i wanted it to do so not being able to see it is perfect because i'm not tearing down all that obsidian tearing down the glowstone was just annoying enough but basically as you can see like I have added the new tower in right here. So, like, as you guys can see, the new tower is just right there. Uh, you're able to enter it, and that's where we're going to have uh, the hidden secrets. I haven't put the item frame in yet, so, you know, we'll we'll go in there. Uh, we'll go into the tower real quick. Oh. Where's the tower? It wasn't here because it's actually just, like, a little secret area. Boop. It's like a little secret area. I think this is so much better than having a big flashy tower. Just having a secret other room over there really makes it, you know. How's it going? What is that? Pretty nice. Oh, Beautiful. that's cool. It's nice light wood floor. Hmm. I'm not aware of that. Sorry. Uh, I can't. I got interrupted but that is okay because that's how life is sometimes but that is basically I, I like the hidden door area over there i'm thinking of either making the entire room like red on the inside so when you're like walking past you just see like a red room and you're like what and you walk in because but i also like the whole like if you look at this room right even f at the entrance if you look at this room it it re like that's the door right I'm staring at the door right now. It's very difficult to actually see. Ready? Whop. You know, right? Whop. Very difficult to actually see what the room is. So I, I kind of like it that way. Well, we'll see. But for now, this will be the end of Wondercraft for this week. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. And I hope you guys had a fantastic week. I hope you guys achieve something that you want to achieve this week. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, especially. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Bye!